name is Matthew Friday, a teacher with the Nigeria Korean Model School. I'm here to present a paper titled Multimedia Content Development and Computer Literacy. Yeah, my content. We'll be talking about introduction, definition of multimedia, multimedia content development, major characteristics of multimedia, evolution of multimedia content, computer literacy, importance of computer literacy, conclusion. Now, introduction. Today, multimedia has become an important part of education all over the world. Educational institutions today have become more conscious on how they impart knowledge to the learners through the use of multimedia. Definition of multimedia. Multimedia refers to using more than one medium, such as audio, visual tools or both. It involves using five basic types of multimedia such as text, video, sound, graphics, animation. Multimedia content development. The division of multimedia into five types is common in web uh, development. Here are the designers. Users use combination of these types to deliver functional content to an end user. The most common form in this classification is text to convey specific information or reinforce an idea or make a website more accessible. They can use digital images as part of the user interface or as content. They can use audio files as well as an interaction, it's or as content of their own. They often use digital video as content, although its usage as an interaction, it is also quite viable. Finally, animated components, including interactive, navigational effects and content. It enhances user engagement with web. They can use digital images as part of the user interface or as content. What are the major characteristics of multimedia? A multimedia system has four basic characteristics. They must be computer controlled. They must be integrated. Information they handle must be presented digitally. The interface to the final presentation of media is usually interactive. Evolution of multimedia system. Learning theory in the past decade has expanded dramatically because of the introduction of multimedia. From multimedia learning theory, David Robert developed a large group lecture practice using PowerPoint based on the use of full slide. Images in conjunction with a reduction of visible text. All text can be placed in the notes view section of the PowerPoint. The method was applied and evaluated in nine disciplines such as education, art, advertisement, entertainment, engineering, medicine, mathematics, business, and scientific research. What is computer literacy? Computer literacy is the human competence 
to use one's own knowledge, skills, and abilities from the closed sphere of the software and the hardware computer equipment, as well as from the wide sphere of ICT for collection, storage, distribution, and presentation of information in a required form and equally to achieve their relevancy to a specific destination. Importance of computer literacy. While the world continues to advance with smart, smarter, faster technology, the need to be computer literacy, literate becomes more imperative. Computer literacy helps in researching important topics or information. Knowing how to use a computer and navigate to a digital terrain helps to keep life organized and streamlined. Mobile media devices are becoming increasingly popular, reinforcing the need for computer illiterates to consider taking a skilled course. It helps in staying up to date. It helps in usage of audiovisual aids in teaching. Better presentation of information. Better opportunities to offer online courses. Storage or retrieval of information. It helps in better record keeping and makes teaching more convenient. Advantages of multimedia to learning. Multimedia stimulate more than one sense at a time, and in doing so, maybe more, maybe more attention getting and attention holding. With the use of multimedia, pupils are better able to comprehend what they are being taught in school. When people, when, when pupils interact during classes, it gives an opportunity to learn in a better way. Teachers can use multimedia such as video to present interesting topics with ease in the classroom. It can be used by teachers to prepare and present lesson notes, teaching it, etc. in a systematic order. Majority of learners are greatly fascinated by multimedia. For instance, a teacher who is constantly speaking in front of the class can make pupils feel bored or sleepy. Multimedia activities encourage pupils to work in group, express their knowledge in multiple ways, solve problems, revise their own work and construct knowledge. Through participation in multimedia activities, pupils can as well learn the following the value of teamwork, the impact and importance of different media, content delivered through computerized systems full of colorful text, appealing graphics, clear sound and illumination attracts their appropriate attention. Information remains vivid in the mind of the pupils for a long time when it is conveyed using multimedia technology. Knowing how to use computer often allows you to get work done in a more organized, efficient and timely manner. It enables the teacher to overcome the challenges of communicating to different audiences. The purpose understand the content easily and faster. The importance of research, planning, and organization skills. Understanding the way to accept and provide constructive feedback. Understanding the way to express their idea creatively. Conclusion. Adequate knowledge of computer skills is a pre requisite to effective multimedia content development, which in turn enhances e-learning in the classroom by both the teachers and the learners. Thank you.